which are the most marketable courses in Kenya? Whenever I'm asked this question, the, what the person is thinking, you know, at the back of their mind is which courses can I do and I'm able to get a job fast. So in this video, I'll share with you the top six professions which I believe are marketable here in Kenya. And by marketable, like I said, if you pursue these courses, the probability of you getting a job fast is there. So the number one course you should think about is anything in the medical field. So whether it's you being a doctor, a nurse, a clinical um, officer, a, a pharmaceutical technologist, uh, even what, a laboratory technologist, all those courses, the probability of you getting a job, whether it's from the certificate level, diploma level, or even a degree level is very high. And the reason is simple. We do have a shortage of medical professionals, not only here in Kenya, but I would say the uh, worldwide. In fact, the other day, I'm sure you saw that um, the UK government was looking to recruit uh, our nurses. So you can't go wrong with a profession in the medical field. Uh, the second profession, and I know this one will catch you by surprise, is sales and marketing. Reason because not many of us, you know, have the confidence to go out and sell products or services. But the reality is for those who are able to do a good job in sales and marketing, they will always be assured of a job. So if you're a people person, you're extroverted, you're confident, uh, you don't fear rejection, then this is a course that you, you should consider. So whether good times or bad times, salespeople will always have a job. And the good thing is they're also able to determine their income. If there's a profession that is highly paid in sales and marketing. Why? Because over and beyond their retainer, you only see them being paid commissions and that can make a whole lot of a difference. I know of organizations where even the sales manager earn more than uh, some managing directors. Why? Because if you're able to show results, if you can be able to make a difference in the company, then the company would want to retain you at any cost. Profession number three, closely related to sales and marketing, is digital marketing. And digital marketing has really come up in a strong way. Why? Because now every business is online. We are trying to get customers online. Even you watching this video, I'm shooting this video because we want to be in the digital space. So over and above you acquiring the skills for sales and marketing, the ones who are able to move to the next level, they understand online marketing, how customers behave online. They also do have a lot of potential and opportunities. And the good thing is with digital marketing, uh, you don't have to be confined here. You know, in Kenya, working for local employers. I know people who do online writing. I know people who do consultancy for clients who are based abroad. So you could be doing social media management, you could be doing search engine optimization or even uh, online advertising for these clients and they're able to pay you because everything is now happening online. Cost number four is HR cost. If you do a course in human resource management, then the probability of you getting a job is high. Why? Because issues of employees now have become critical. Employees know their rights. It's not uh, in the olden days where an employer could just do anything with employees. And you also see that uh, employers now are more concerned about their employees. They want uh, to get the best out of the employees. Uh, they want employees to be productive. They want employees to feel at home. So who will do this work? It's the HR professionals. So um, recently, even now, for you to become a HR professional, you have to be certified. Uh, and you also have to be licensed. So we do have our own exam uh, for HR professionals. It's called CHRP. Back then, we used to have NEC. We don't go through higher diploma in NEC, but now we have a course called Certified Human Resource uh, Professional. So do check it out. And um, yeah, if you're good with people also, this, this is a course that you should think about. The other course you should um, consider is accounting. And I'm sure you've seen how KRA has become aggressive in terms of correcting taxes. So accounting have always, accountants, they've always occupied a special place in business because all businesses want to know how they are performing. But now, if you look in the last few years, KRA has really become aggressive, you know, in terms of uh, correcting taxes. And who will help the company know the correct taxes they're supposed to pay? It's the accountants. So accountants are really doing well. 
And I know someone might say it's a saturated profession, and I even did a video on the saturated professions in Kenya. But I would say it depends on your effort. If you're good at what you do and you become an expert, yes, you may not really, at the start, you may not be paid that high. But over time, you'll be able to cut a niche for yourself and even be able to command uh, those high salaries. The next course is uh, anything to do with IT. Uh, but specifically, I would want to focus on one, which I've really seen a lot of requests from employers, both local and abroad. And that is uh, anything touching on software uh, developers. Software developers are in short, uh, are in high demand. And I will associate it with the, the, this aspect of everything now being automated. So if it's marketing now, it's, um, it's um, automated. If it's transport, it's automated. Everything, think about even the medical field, it's automated. So the people who are really making a difference in terms of uh, making sure things are automated and systems are running smoothly, it's the software developers. So if you have an interest in IT and you're wondering which course to pursue, then uh, I'll tell you to consider the software, de software uh, development courses. And the good thing is with software development courses, you don't have to take four or five years. Um, I've, I've seen people do a diploma course, even certificate, or they specialize in something and um, they, they, they get employed. So it does have a lot of potential um, if you pursue a course in software development. So I believe those are the six courses um, which, if you, if you do them, I believe they are marketable in the sense that I don't see you really tamaking or staying for months without, uh, without a job. So what, what do you think about the courses that I've highlighted? What has been your experience? I would love to hear what you have in mind. And every week we do have new videos where I share tips on career advice, interviews, courses, training, and how you can be able to uh, get to the next level in your career. Do subscribe and until next time, thank you very much for watching.